Hi everybody and welcome back to our data structures and algorithm series. In this video, we are going to learn how to mirror a binary tree. We've already learned about binary trees and how we can implement them recursively. So we're going to use the code that we've implemented in our previous videos to now implement the function mirror, which will take a binary tree like shown here and mirror it. What I mean by mirroring, we are going to swap the right with the left. Before we just start writing the code, let's walk through an example where we mirror our binary tree and then we can start seeing how we would implement this function. So I already written out a binary tree here that we are going to mirror. The root of our binary tree is five. And then we have on the left side, three, and on the right side, eight. And then for three's children, we have two and four. And for eight's children, we have seven and nine. So if we were going to mirror this tree, we'll say the function mirror. We're starting off our mirror, we start at the root of our binary tree which is five. The root of our binary tree doesn't have anybody to swap with. It mirrors with itself. Then we look at our root's children. Our root's child has three subtree and eight subtree. So three and eight need to be swapped with each other. So that now eight's subtree is over here. We're gonna start with the root. And three subtree ends up on the right. Eight and three have been swapped, but eight actually has children, right? It has seven and nine. And seven and nine also need to be swapped. So when we get down to our tree, we're looking at the children and swapping those children, but we also then need to continue looking at the children until there are no more children to swap until basically the left and right subtrees are null. Nine would get swapped with seven. And for three, two and four get swapped. So we need to think about this function recursively. We start at the beginning of our tree, the root of our tree. So we would pass in five, which is our root. And if our root is not null, we are going to then swap the left and right. So now let's write this recursive method. So I've already defined the function mirror. And just like our pre-order and post-order implementations, we'll have the public method mirror that doesn't take in a root. And since the root is private, we'll initiate mirroring R binary tree by calling mirror root and then the implementation of our function will be mirror passing in a node. So now let's remember what we walked through earlier. If, if the node that we're passing in, in this case we're calling leaf, is null, that's our breaking point. That is the end of our recursive function. So in the case of our leaf equaling null, we are going to break out of our function. Otherwise, we have to do the swap. We have to flip our left and right subtrees. But we also have to make sure that when we flip our left and right subtrees, we continue flipping our left and right subtrees as well. So that is our recursive function. So what we would call is mirror again passing in our nodes left and passing in our nodes right subtrees. This is going to call the mirror function again. Now, right now, if we do all this, we're just gonna go through and we're not doing any swaps. So we have to do the swap. That means we need to make our left subtree be our right subtree and our right subtree be our left subtree. So let's make a temp variable here. We'll just call this node 
temp, which would equal our leaf's left subtree. And then leaf, leaf left equals leaf's right. And then leaf right would equal the temp variable that we set. And this will swap the pointers inside the node. So let's walk through the example that we did before. We start off with five, which is the root of our node. Five is not null, so we end up here and we call mirror leaf left, and we end up at three. Now we're going into mirror leaf left. Three is not null, so we call mirror leaf left and end up at two. Two is not null, so we call mirror leaf left its child is null. So we pop out and call mirror leaf right on twos. Its child is null, so we pop out, and now we're at two. We're back up at threes, mirror leaf left. So now we call mirror leaf right and end up at four. Do the same with four, its children's are null, so we pop back up here. And then we end up at this code here where we're swapping the two. So we end up swapping four and two, it's left and right. This pops back up to three's left is done. So we end up doing the same exact thing with eight, going back, end up swapping nine and seven, and we're back at eight. And then we swap eight and three. And now we've mirrored our tree. So the last thing we're gonna do is test our code. So in the case of this example here, uh, the way that we're going to find out that this worked is we're going to look at the print level order originally, and then we'll look at the print level order after we've mirrored. So print level order before we mirror is five, three, eight, two, four, seven, nine. After we mirror, it becomes five, eight, three, nine, seven, four, two. I'm gonna quickly update our main method to reflect the example we did here. And now let's run this code. And there you have it. This is the original tree. And when we mirror it, we have five, eight, three, nine, seven, four, two. So congratulations, you just learned really quickly how to mirror a binary tree. So if you like what you saw, just make sure to subscribe so you can get notified of other data structure and algorithm videos and anything else you might be interested in learning about. Until then, happy learning.